What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We're back and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to go about getting doing the fractures in uh, Warframe. Now in this back corner of the map uh, you can see here it's going to be the very top left portion of the map over by the Temple of Prophet. You're going to encounter the Exploiter Orb. Because of that you're going to have these little uh, spider guys drop, these little coolant rachnoids drop. Um, in order to progress with this this mission, you're going to take out these rachnoids or deal enough damage to these rachnoids to destroy that, that top portion. They're then going to drop a canister of coolant. With that coolant, you are now going to find a... Um, you're now going to find a fracture. Um, there is a fracture right there. I'm not going to do because it's way too close to the exploiter orb, and it's just asking to uh, fail this mission. But you're going to then go from here, fly around until you find a fracture, and then initiate the process. Um, I will mention a little bit later that it is possible to do multiple coolants. Um, however, you do have to do those at different times. Uh, you can see here we have a... Uh, a fracture. All right, so go. after you've retrieved your coolant, you're going to come over to these fissures uh, or fractures and you're going to place that coolant canister down inside of the fracture itself. Uh, there will be a little toggle to allow you to do it. Um, and while we're in here, you're going to have to defend this point from oncoming enemies. Now they're going to get spawned in kind of like you see here through these giant you know, teleportations from outer space, uh, and you're going to, uh, like I said, defend this point from oncoming enemies. Um, I personally use my Mesa because, man, does it just chew through enemies like crazy. Um, when a Jackal comes around, I've been using my Tigris Prime, and that thing just uh, basically two shots Jackals as long as I get around to the backside of it. Um, when it's, you know, in case it throws the shields up, I need to get around to the backside, take those out. But, um, I've seen a lot of people use, you know, you've got some defensive frames, um, like Gara that can throw up her, um, her shields or her, her wall up. You've got Frost that could throw his bubble up. But for the most part, I see Mesa's in here. Um, Nidus can do pretty good because he can pull in all of the enemies, uh, into himself and, well, not into himself, but into the Locust deal and then just basically blast through all of those enemies. That really helps a Mesa out because as a Mesa, I can uh, target that that massive enemies and basically take out tons and tons and tons of enemies with very little effort. So, pretty nice. Um, let's see what other what other frames are pretty decent here. Um, you know, uh, there's another Mesa, for example. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen a little bit of everybody. As long as you have a really solid build. Uh, you can run this multiplayer and probably not have too much of a problem. Um, I don't really suggest doing this solo because uh, with with the spawns, everybody's going to focus on you and the defense point, of course, but everybody's going to focus on you, and that's going to make things a little bit difficult. Is it possible? Yeah, I've seen a Revenant uh, do it um, you know, pretty, pretty easily all by himself, but other than that, um, pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, just just jump out. Um, I found the best way of uh, running into people public is by walking out of Fortuna into the uh, into Orvalis by yourself. Um, typically if you're coming from your Lisette and you click on Orvalis uh, without going to Fortuna, you'll end up in a lobby with uh, people doing all sorts of different, different missions. Um, if you like I said, start out of Fortuna and walk out of there public and you don't have any mission selected or anything like that. Um, a lot of people are currently running Fractures. If you're doing this outside of the event itself because the Fractures are coming back to the game, um, you I, I don't know what kind of luck you're going to have because this is the current event at this point in time. Um, you're going to run into people doing this mission. Uh, quite a bit, quite a bit. So, um, I've run out of here uh, probably five times, and four out of the five times, I had pretty much everybody in the party doing this objective. So, uh, 
Um, that's the best way, like I said. I suggest doing it. But um, if you, at this point in time, like I said, go from your Lisette straight to Orb Valis, um, I've started. Uh, I've started encountering people doing the Exploiter Orb. So you might end up in the Exploiter Orb when you don't want to. You may also end up um, in a bounty that you don't want to. So um, this is the best way, in my opinion. After getting the Fracture done, what you're also going to do is fly up and find your next Fracture location. After you find that location, I typically waypoint it for the entire party, um, which will allow the person that has the canister to fly to it. But um, I'm going to take out these... Uh, uh, these uh, what's it called? Fugitives right now? Because um, that's that's extra experience and stuff, so... Um, oh, well, I guess this Mesa isn't... Or Neja isn't doing it. Um, there we go. Extra night wave standing. Pretty nice. Um, so yeah, we have... Neja? Is that Neja? Yeah, Neja with the canister. Um... Looks like someone found a waypoint of the location, so now we are going to fly over to that and start the second fracture. If you do four fractures with the very same canister, when you extract, you will uh, you will end up with three bonus points, which is pretty nice. You can't do two containers at the exact same time. However, if you do a container uh, uh, from start to finish, and then you do a second container after that you can basically get more points so what I typically end up doing is especially in a random lobbies um, I find parties that are willing to run two canisters back to back so typically we extract with a total of 14 points seven from each canister because each canister ends up with those three extra bonus points so that's the way I've been running it but for the most part, that is the gist of the fractures themselves. You can see it here, cooling uh, or going up, um, and yeah, um, I'm probably going to do a second one myself. But in, uh, in in regards to the length of the video, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Um, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Um, like I said, I suggest doing every canister from start to finish. That way, you get those extra bonus points. And if you are capable of doing so, and the people in your party want to, I suggest doing uh, multiple canisters per run. So, yeah, I uh, appreciate you guys stopping on by, watching the video. Maybe you learned something. Um, if this is not the current event, I'm not too sure what rewards you're going to get. Um, uh, like, because the, the event is over, I'm not too sure if there's going to be rewards tied to this. Um, I'm not too sure if there's going to be parts or extra credits or something that you're going to get every time you do this event. But at this point in time, uh, you're going to get special amalgamation mods uh, during the event. And then you're also going to have the opportunity to get the Optifor Vandal. Um, who knows if those are coming back when this event is, or these fractures are a regular thing. Um, but I'm sure there's going to be some sort of reward tied to it. Anyways, that's going to be it for me, guys. If uh, if something has changed or if you've noticed something that I did not mention, you can drop it in the comments below for anyone who is curious. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys again in the next episode. Blah!